chased something and then that chasing was I, I discovered at that point that there had been no real Scottish wrestlers under contract obviously Roddy Piper was Saskatchewan Canada <laughs> a great friend of mine um, and I said that was my goal that was my singular goal was I didn't know how to do it in Scotland I had no idea about wrestling in Scotland it seemed very small and hardly anybody had heard of it so I knew I had to leave and I went, I knew, I'd heard of the Hart family and I'd heard, uh, you know, all these Canadian wrestlers and that's where I went. Wow, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Just seen on TV. I'm going to do that. <laughs> and yeah. and once everybody started making fun of you, you actually had something you had to prove, not only to yourself, but to everybody else. Mm -hmm. so I, it gave me some of the greatest motivation I have ever experienced in my life. Um, to the point where, and let me just say this because Drew McIntyre got under my fucking skin the other week. I seen a thing with him on DDP Yoga claiming to be the first Scottish wrestler. If that's true and he signed at the end of 2007, I started on TV in 2006. I was signed at the start of 2005. I am the fucking first Scottish professional wrestler <laughs> under contract to WWE. I like Drew. I respect everything Drew's done. His career is stellar, and I really do genuinely respect him. But if he's going to try and take that from me, we got a fucking beef. And that's just that's legit, man. I worked my balls off. I lived in a car for years, driving all over Canada, driving all over the U.S. I had no money. I had no food in my pot to piss in. And if that guy's going to take that from me when they showed up at his university and gave my fucking contract, we we got a real issue here, man. I, I did not break my ass to turn and you guys are the first people I'm talking to about I did not break my ass sacrifice my country my family my standard of living uh, to chase a dream the way it's supposed to be done going from state to state town to town city to city and building a name for myself for him to step in it was handed a contract and put on developmental mm -hmm. and showed up at his first fucking TV tape and it had to wear Robbie's boots because he left his stuff on the airplane for him to say he's Scotland's first fucking under contract wrestler, I take right with that. Wow, yeah, <laughs> as as you should. I mean that that's wow. Yep. <laughs> I, I guess you hear hear it here first on developmentally speaking. That was <laughs> I agree. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Hey everybody, it's Morty. It's Brian. And thank you for watching today's episode of Developmentally Speaking. If you could, please click that subscribe button. And don't forget to punch that bell icon so you can get notified whenever we go live or drop a new video every Monday. Well, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you on the next Developmentally Speaking.